got that fear for the man you're going to be as a rookie? Um, for someone who wasn't as experienced as me, it might be an issue. Um, when I early in my career, it was definitely an issue underestimating people, not preparing for the, for the toughest possible eventuality. That was an issue early doors, but I managed to. Re I realised from getting knocked down by people like Lenga Mark and losing to Carl Thompson that you know, no matter what you believe is going to be the result, you have to prepare for the worst. You have to prepare for someone bigger, stronger, hungrier, heavier, harder hitting than the guy you believe is getting into the ring, and that's what I've done. I prepared for someone, a monster, on Saturday okay. night. Is there anything about Fury? Because I remember for a while you were dismissing the fight. Is mm. there anything you've seen since then that? That impresses you? What he doesn't I like? think that impresses me, to be honest. Um, the fact he's unbeaten is quite impressive. The fact, the fact he managed to stay unbeaten, that's very impressive. So yeah, so I'm impressed by the fact he's unbeaten. Okay. When you when you announced your retirement, it was nearly two years ago, mm. now, wasn't it? You'd promised to do that for such a long time. It was almost as if you had to go through mm. with that. Was it at the back of your mind that, that you'd be coming back when you announced when you made that? No, no, no. I thought that was it. Until you know, a few months later. It didn't quite sit well with me going out on a loss. It was never my plan to retire on a loss, so um, it wasn't. You know, it just didn't sit well with me. So I wanted to sort of right the wrongs. Of that. Okay. What is it that gave you motivation back? Was it watching boxing? Was it, was um, it just the fact that no, it's just the fact. I just don't like losing. I'm not that type of person who likes to lose. You know, I don't really I'm not, I don't lose in life. I don't like to lose. It's a horrible sensation. And um, I wanted to put the right people who believe that he's better than me. I like to put, put that straight. I, be, I believe I'm better than him, and I've, there's only one way to prove it, and that's getting myself in a position to prove it in the ring. I can say it, I'm screaming from the rooftops all day long, it doesn't mean shit. Yeah. You, know, you have to physically do it. Yeah. Is it something, uh, I know the Cole Thompson, from, from reading Elliot's book, mm -hmm. Cole Thompson book, uh, lost niggled and niggled and niggled. If for whatever reason you can't get Vladimir Klitschko mm -hmm. in the ring again, is it something that will bother you later on in life? Um, no, I don't think it would bother me. Um, it would be some of those sort of unfulfilled dreams, maybe. Uh, but you know, how many people out there wanted to be something or wanted to achieve something and didn't do it? And most of us, it's always, and it does every single person out there in the world achieve every single thing they've ever aimed to do? Probably the answer is probably no. You know, I've achieved most of the things. I said I wanted to be world heavyweight champion, I achieved that. Uh, but along the way, I was like, okay. I wanted to be the undisputed champion. Then on the way, I wanted to be the cruiserweight champion as well, the undisputed cruiserweight champion. So you know, the ultimate goal for me when I was a kid was just to be the heavyweight champion. But as time goes by, I wasn't that big, so I had to fight cruiserweight first, won that title. So you, in life, you keep putting goals and, and uh, achievements in front of you to aim and strive for. Um, and uh, as time goes by, you, know, you either achieve them or you don't. No, I, I, even if I put a, put a goal in front of me to do something, make a certain business, make X amount of money, I don't do that. It bugs me. I hate losing. I hate not achieving what I set out to do. And um, I set out to beat Vladimir, and I didn't do it. And I know, I know why it didn't happen. And you know, if I had the opportunity to do it again, I believe I could right the wrongs. But I'd only get, I'd only get the opportunity. But whether I get the opportunity or not, I don't know. It's, un, it's unknown. Okay. What, what, what went wrong on the night? I would like to tell you, but um, if I tell you, then he might read this, and I don't really want to know. I don't really want to you know, uh, give too much about. I didn't box as well as I could have boxed. Okay, fair I mean, bottom line is, he boxed out of his skin. I didn't. You know, he he did what he needed to do to win more rounds than me. I didn't, and that's the, that's the bottom line. But I could, if I'd done things differently, I believe I could, I could reverse that, just reverse that result. But that's just talk. It's all bullshit. It don't mean nothing. Until I go and do it, it's just empty me yab yabbering on. Just like I was yabbering before the fight, just me yabbering after the fight. It doesn't mean anything. So that's why, well, that's why, that's the hunger that I've got to prove it in the ring. Despite the loss to Klitschko, despite the early loss to Thompson, yeah. you've had a career yeah. uh, better than 99.99% yeah. yeah. of boxers have gone clubs. Can you, if your career, if your career finished tomorrow, will yeah. you look back on it with pride? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, I've, you know most people I talk to people, and their their whole their whole dream was to be the British champion, and they never achieved that. Many many boxers over the years, British boxers, they just wanted to win that, get that Lonsdale belt. Never happened. You know, but from the start, even when I was challenging for the European title, I wasn't fighting for it. I couldn't care less about the European title. It was all about I'm winning that European title because the person who holds the European title has got a big ranking with the WBA. 
and once I've beaten him, I'll be ranked there so I could then become mandatory for the WBC. So that was it. It wasn't okay, I'm fighting for the European title and that was achievement. No, the achievement was always be the number one in the world, beat Mormek at the time Mormek was number one. So, you know, the undefeated champion. So every one of the fights in the lead up to that was just a stepping stone to that. Whereas some people winning the European title, that's a great honour. You know, the people, you, you're in the record books forever, you've been European champion. That was the lot. Even when I won the belt, it's like, okay, the kids, I don't care less. I just, just, I don't even know where that belt is now, to be honest. I could genuinely, hand on heart, don't know where that belt is. It's probably in the boot of my car or one of mine somewhere, I don't know. Um, because it, it's all about being winning the, the ultimate goal, that's being the world champion, the undisputed world champion. So, um, look at, looking back at my looking back at my career, you know, I could do, look back. And, okay, I won the European title in 45 seconds, then defended it three times against two undefeated fighters, guys I fought in the amateurs and had hard nights with in the amateurs. Um, then I went and went over to, to France and fought the very best and beat him. Didn't get paid fuck all for the fight. But I did it because it was, it was a fight for the record books and it would then catapult me up the rankings, catapult me, you know, although it was a very low profile, low profile fight and literally a few hundred, few thousand people may have watched it on Satanta at the time. I didn't care, it wasn't about that. It wasn't about the, the money, it was about you know, the record books, being the undisputed champion. No one gives a shit, I didn't get any, I didn't get any articles, you know, in the papers. You know, I was squashed between a Ricky Hatton world title fight and a Joe Calzaghe world title fight. No one cared, although it was a big achievement for me and a big scheme of things in, in boxing terms, no one knew, no one cared. But it didn't bother me because I knew it meant something and I knew in years to come it would mean something and it does, it still does. That's it's a big achievement me in the, being a unified champion. You know, the only belt that wasn't on the line was, I think was the IBF, but Mormick had the IBF but he was stripped of it before I fought him. So he was, he had all the belts. You know, then the one belt I didn't, he didn't have was the WBO, which Macronelli had. And that's when it really started to uh, come together in these big fights at the, at the, um, the O2 Arena yeah. and with uh, Enzo Macronelli unifying all the belts. And for me, that's, that's, a, that's a real big, a big achievement. From someone who you know, lost to Carl Thompson and people thought, oh, he ain't got no heart, you know, he, you know, he's chinny, he's got no stamina, blah, blah, blah. Everybody, everybody ripped me. But, you know, I, I didn't take any notes. I knew I had what it take, to, took to become, become the best in the world and I proved it. And I've done the same at heavyweight. You know, I fought um, Nikolai Valuev after only one fight at heavyweight. Monty Barrett, then heavyweight title fight. People don't normally do that stuff. I did it and won the title, defended it twice. And went straight in there with the best in the world. Went in straight in there with Vladimir, trying to unify the belts. It's been two fights. If you look how long the Klitschko's have held those belts and just, you know, how, when, when, how, many how long did uh, Nikolai Valuev have the title and how, 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 why didn't they get together? Yeah, yeah. I didn't need to try and unify. They, they weren't interested. They were just happy earning their money in Germany, defending the, the, the belts they had. Didn't want to take any risks. I just wanted to risk it. Come, let's do it. I don't need boxing forever. Let's just see how good I am. Tried it. Didn't work out. No, I believe I, I, I underachieved and I could do better. So that's why I'm still fighting. Is there any, any regrets when you look back on all that? Nah, none. No regrets whatsoever. Every, every decision I've made, every decision I've made, everything I've done has been, I've made it with a clear head at the time. In hindsight, I could have made a better decision, I could have done things differently, but you drive yourself mad looking at life like, okay, if I didn't park here, then my car wouldn't have got broken into, and then drive yourself, you do what you do, you parked it there, because just, you thought it was, it was a free parking spot, yeah. and it was convenient. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, you know, I don't regret anything I've done whatsoever. Ten years' time, you'll be approaching 43 years mm. old, what are you be doing? 100% um, might be boxing, that's for sure. Um, I don't know, hopefully, I don't, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be happy. Yeah, just think it's always, always yeah, happy. yeah. Hopefully I'll be happy. Whatever I'm, hopefully whatever I'm doing is uh, is making me smile, making me content, and not you know, harming my body. You know, because I've, I've abused my body over the years uh, in training. When I say abuse, I mean hard, hard training, pushing my body to the limit. You know, weight training. I've had so many injuries over the years. It's been absolute hell. But you know, I've somehow managed to scrape through and make it to the fight in one piece and put it on the line I can hold it together in a fight um, but it's just been hard 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 this is, this has been the hardest preparation I've ever had Adam has made sure that the, the intensity and sparring is far super, far surpasses of what it is in any of my fights the sparring has been hard in any of my fights so far and I've been doing it every other day it's been very 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 tough but you know come fight night it'll make it really easy for me